four different clinical subtypes of MS have been identified. Relapsing remitting MS, secondary progressive MS, primary progressive MS, and progressive relapsing uh, multiple sclerosis. Most people with MS present with relapsing remitting MS. 85% of people start there. The way to think of MS probably is more like a spectrum rather than separate little boxes. If a person with relapsing remitting MS is not on therapy, there is a tendency over time for them to move towards secondary progressive MS. And what that means is that the attacks or relapses tend to get fewer and farther apart and the person then just slowly accumulates disability. One of the great mysteries of MS is why people do that. It's almost like there are, uh, these two processes are different diseases. Relapsing MS is characterized by lots of inflammation uh, in, in terms of the pathology. You see lots of, of dye uptake into MS lesions on MRI, whereas the person with secondary progressive MS tends to not have much inflammation pathologically and tends to have more measures of tissue damage, things like shrinkage of the brain or punched out areas of nerve fiber damage, uh, as opposed to the, the, the dye uptake that you see in relapsing forms of MS. The person with primary progressive MS is almost, again, like a different disease altogether. There are a lot of, are a lot of things with primary progressive MS that don't fit the typical pattern of MS. You see more men with primary progressive MS, whereas with relapsing remitting MS, the, the uh, uh, trend is towards more women being affected. Primary progressive MS is characterized by very little inflammation. It's almost like a degenerative process from, from day one. You tend to see more damage in the spinal cord and less damage in the brain in a person with primary progressive MS. Progressive relapsing MS, I believe, is probably just a spin-off of, of relapsing remitting MS. These are people who might start with slow progression uh, at the onset and then have relapses later. One of the challenges with the term relap relapsing remitting MS is that we make it sound very black and white. Like when you are having a relapse, you're going to have neurological symptoms, and when you're in uh, remission, you're going to be completely symptom free. Unfortunately, that's not the case for most people with MS. Most people with MS keep some symptoms even when they're in remission. This might be fatigue or, or uh, some weakness left over from a prior relapse, but it's really not like someone is flipping a light switch on and off. Even identifying when a person has a relapse can be challenging for some people. The strict definition of a relapse is that it's a new or worsened neurological symptom that comes on and sticks around for at least 24 hours and we don't have a better explanation. Uh, if a person went and worked outside in 95 degree weather or if they had a viral infection, those things are going to make uh, neurological symptoms worse in a person with MS, but that probably doesn't count as a relapse. So it can be a little tricky sometimes to, to sort out you know, where a person is at uh, in that relapsing remitting phase of multiple sclerosis.